Hello world, it is Nathan speaking. It has been Sunday. Sunday is wonderful because Sunday is the day that we focus on worshiping God. And you know what? I just want to say that life is beautiful. Uh, this morning I got up, I did some preparation for my message, final preparation. I had done a lot of the writing, but you know, I usually like to do some, I like to do work on the early, early Sunday morning, so 6.30 or so. I was out in the tea room, I was working on that, and then we went out to Melrose Community Church again, great bunch of people in at Avenue Road and uh, kind of Lawrence area, a little north of that, and it was a great time had a great lunch with Patricia Bennett and her husband. Uh, it was great to see them. Haven't seen them for a long, long time. Makes me think of my desire to one day perform the whole book of Romans. Maybe that will happen. Who knows? And then my kids and I, my kids and my wife, my kids and my wife, the three of them have read the book, The Giver. It's part of the summer reading list from school. We watched the movie because I picked it up at Best Buy the other day. We watched the movie. I, I've always loved dystopian literature. My favorite book was 1984. For this concept of an oppressive regime that took away all our freedom of thought. And maybe in some ways that's that shaped my own soft libertarian conservative ideals because I believe that freedom is of the utmost value. The individual is the basic building block, not the collective. God makes us into a community, but we are a community of individuals because each one of us believes, trusts, follows God as Savior. And you know, some of you who are not at all Christians, don't believe in God, you're listening to this, you might hear the things that I say, think I'm crazy. You know what? I just want to say life makes no sense apart from a creator who made all of the beauty of life. The, the amazing thing in The Giver is, uh, if you know the story at all, the story is about a kind of a utopian society where emotion, sexual desire, music, color has been taken away along with pain and murder and suffering in order to make a better community. Here's the thing. God has intended us to live a life of beauty, deep beauty. And you know what? From the colors you see on the screen that you're watching to the joy of sexual intimacy with your spouse to the amazing wonder of having a relationship with your own offspring, uh, loving, caring for, playing with your kids, looking into the eyes of your husband or wife and telling them about your joy. This is the life we've been given and this life is intended to be lived in light of our creator. Now you might say, well, the oppression shown in the giver is just like the oppression of religion. And that is absolutely not true because the oppression in the giver is the oppression of removing our humanity. And when we believe in God, we actually are imbued with the true understanding of what our humanity is meant to be because we're in relationship with the one who created our humanity. Now I'm ranting happy. I am thankful. I've had a great Sunday. I've had a great three days of vlogging. I love, I'm, I'm so excited about doing this. I want this to connect with you and I want you to, to think if you're not experiencing this joy, this peace, this astounding level of wonder at life, not because it is just the spurting of chemicals in your brain or the feeling that is given by various hormones, but because you are a created being, created being that is beautiful and true and good, created being that is fallen and rebellious and that needs to be reconciled to your creator and that your creator, Jesus Christ himself, has redeemed us by dying on the cross so that we could know him and follow him. Crazy, I know. But the fact of the matter is it's absolutely true. It's historically verifiable and it is wonderful and it makes everything in life a wondrous event. So I hope you're having a good week. This is Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Tomorrow's Monday. A new beginning to the week. You have a new opportunity to repent of your sin, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and follow the desires he's put in a renewed heart to follow him and give him glory. So thanks for letting me be in your lives the last three days and I hope to continue in the future. So have a great one and uh, praise God. Amen.